We are delighted to be joined by a man who has had a big part in helping shape the careers of a couple of the Wolves players and many more as well. A former coach at Sporting Lisbon and lots of different places too, including with the Portuguese national team. Delighted to have with us Lionel Puntes. Lionel, great to have you on Match Day Live Extra. I wanted to start off with you about João Matinho because our captain, Conor Cody, describes him as the most competitive man he has ever met in football. Does that sound like the João Matinho that you know? Hello, uh, thank you for your, your invitation. It's a pleasure to be here with you and to, to share some uh, ideas. Yes, it's true, Moutinho, since a little boy, he was very competitive. He never, lose, uh, one, he never wanted to lose uh, one game. Uh, all kind of games in the in the train uh, in the in the game uh, in the championship, he was very competitive and uh, worked very hard every day. It's a, a, it was a, a small boy, but uh, a boy that want uh, know what he wanted to do in the future. Uh, it's since uh, I I've worked with him with uh, 13 years old until uh, professional. It was uh, six uh, six seven years working with him. And uh, amazing his personality, amazing his uh, competitive way of uh, playing, and, uh, and the knowledge of the game. He understands very well the game. He is a captain inside. The, it's a manager inside the, inside the game. So he was like that with uh, 13 years old. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, yeah. like he's obviously such a talented player. It took him so long to come to English football. He was always linked to teams throughout the years. Were you surprised that it took him so long and that it was a team like Wolves who were newly promoted at the time that he came to? Yes, I, uh, I spoke with him several times about that. He had some invitation <laughs> of uh, Tottenham and uh, other clubs, uh, but he was comfortable in uh, Porto, was comfortable in Monaco uh, doing his career, but uh, his dream was uh, was to, to go to English, to the the... Uh, the, uh, um, the the com the championship of uh, England. Uh, so uh, he wanted to come, but uh, only the, only now he had the chance, and uh, with a lot of Portuguese help him to adapt to to the club, to adapt uh, to to the city, he adapt to the to the team, and for him it's more easy to to come with a lot of Portuguese inside the team. Is that tonight is his 53rd appearance of the season. He's 33 now. I think many of us expected him to be maybe used a little bit more sparingly than he has done in the two years he's been here. He's, I mean, he's up to uh, 97 appearances for the club in less than two seasons, which is remarkable. It, I guess, does it say a lot about his fitness levels and the way he looks after himself? Yes. Uh, first, he wanted to buy all the games. Uh, he don't he don't like to be out. Uh, after that, uh, I think he he, he have a, a very good conditional, uh, physical condition because since little boy he, he worked every day very hard. Uh, João Moutinho was a player that we 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 don't need to speak too much with him uh, because uh, not not only to his tasks uh, tactical task but uh, uh, physical work. He was every every moment uh, prepared to work hard. So this kind of behavior, since kid, uh, go with him uh, through the professional life. So uh, he, why it's why he, he could play a lot of games in uh, in England because he's ready for for do that and he have a, a very good um, physical condition. Lionel, I have to ask you about Rui Patricio, another player that you had at youth level. Like he's been so so uh, consistent and reliable for Wolves. Would you say that he's up there with the very best that the Premier League has seen, in your opinion? Bye. Roy is uh, is amazing. Uh, I met him in uh, with uh, eleven years old. Uh, he was big, was uh, discoordinated, uh, but uh, very focused in his work, and uh, he wanted to learn a lot. I think uh, he's passing through uh, probably the best moment of his career these last uh, two or three, three years. He's very consistent. He don't shake. He don't shake. 
Even uh, he made some uh, mistakes, he don't shake. Uh, and if you do a mistake, he will do better after. Uh, because uh, between 18 and uh, 21, 22, uh, he had to chance, he had a big chance to fail. Because he failed a lot in that time. But he never went out of the team. Yeah. And for him, it was very important that moment. Because uh, he, he began as a profession very young. Uh, I was in the team in that moment. I was assistant coach of Paulo Bento. And we put our neck for him uh, against uh, uh, older uh, goalkeeper. Because uh, in that time, he showed us uh, personality, he showed us uh, uh, character, and he showed us quality. But he was immature, of course. <laughs> and uh, he had uh, silly mistakes with all the support behind him, shouting a lot. And we put them uh, again and again and again. And it's why today, is, I think it's why today could be a reason that now he's a very consistent player. Yep. As Lionel, you talk about his character, what he went through in those final days at Sporting before coming to England to kind of go through all of that and still keep improving as a player says a lot about him. Yes, of course. Uh, it, was, it, was, it was not a... Um... An easy moment for him because uh, he grew up in sporting. He was there since 11 years old. And uh, when he finished, uh, and, uh, he finished in sporting in a, uh, a strange moment. Uh, but uh, he showed that uh, he was a big man. He was a man with, uh, with, uh, with heart and with uh, uh, psychological um, good, good characteristics. So he, he, he left Sporting, but uh, nobody forgot him. And in Portugal, in this moment, is the best uh, goalkeeper. Uh, and uh, I think in the in the in the world is on uh, in the, the ten goalkeepers in the world is the is is there is there. Yeah, um, you know, I say, look, we spoke speaking about Daniel Pudence, uh had a great debut at the weekend, well, Premier League debut at the weekend for Wolves. Uh, what kind of impact do you think he'll have on the, the few games remaining of the season? He played at Sporting with you. Do you think that we've got a top player in Daniel? Uh, I, I didn't work with him uh, uh, directly because when he grew up in Sporting, I was in national team and uh, I was out uh, of Sporting. But I know him pers uh, personally. Uh, he's a, a very unpredictable player. Uh, even if he's not taller, but he's very fast, he's smart. Uh, he could uh, play very good between the lines of the opponent. One-to-one uh, -one is strong because you don't have afraid. He go one-to-one. -one. Uh, near the box, uh, he, he, he takes a lot of an advantage. Uh, he's not a scorer. He's not a, a scorer, but he's a player that could change a game because he's fast, he's aggressive, and he could make the different things in the game. Uh, so uh, he's a very interesting player. Uh, is adapting to the, this new future, uh, football, uh, very more intense, uh, without spaces, uh, more runs. Uh, but uh, I believe it could be a very good player.